there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swishing and reviewing the last two months of results in August and September if you were trading in the trading room with me, Golden Gaps. And again, that's the only thing that I look at every single solitary morning. And we mostly focus on shorts, although every once in a while I will look at a long. If you're interested in more information, you can call me at 929 gap or email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. You know, when you're starting out in the market, many times you make a little bit of a progress and then you realize you don't know as much as you think that you do. And then you realize that you have to take a couple steps back to take a couple steps forward to really get on up ahead. And you know, many times that's how it is when we have big goals in life. I wish you could say you could get on step one and make it all the way directly to the top, but many people's paths in trading is not like that. Mine wasn't like that either. Uh, so when I first started out trading, I didn't know what I was doing, and then it took me three years to develop my system. So it is the same for everybody that comes out, but know that you can get to the top with support, with help, and I teach my method in a class. It's called the Golden Gap class. So going back here, beginning of August, and now part of the month of August was earning season. September was not earning season. It was a slow month for trading. Now it's started to pick up in October. October, November, December should be busy months here in the market. Uh, fall is typically a busy trading time. But in the summer here, or in September really, it was late summer, it was very slow. The beginning of August was good. Cake was a nice one. It was a short. Shrimp, good profit and trip. SYMC was a winner. Off for a couple days in August. DBX, that was a short. QQQs, HD was a loss and Qs was a winner. Now again, I try to look at one thing a day. Occasionally, I will do two things if I think it's warranted. M was a really nice short on the 15th. WMT took two tries, but it was worth it. DF was a loser. AMAT again took two tries. That day was a loss. As you see here, there weren't many days that were losses. This day, even though there were three trades, was a lost day. There were no lost days here back at the first week. And the second week in here then, it was just one of these times where you had to go after something sometimes twice. AMAT didn't have the follow through like WMT, which ended up being a big winner then by the end of the day. QQQs was a loser. L was a loser. SPY was a winner. ETFC was a loser, HPE was a nice winner, and Target took two shots. Ended up being a winning day on that one. LB, solid winner on that day. So just again, going back in here, you can see I don't have that many losing days. And so it's very, very important when you're trading to make sure that you have a consistent risk so that when you make money, then you can move forward and build your account or pay yourself if that's what you want to do. GPS is 2800, no trades on the 27th. SPY took two shots, one winner, one loser. DKS was a loser, AEO was a winner. And two TV days off, room was closed at the beginning of the month of September, no trades on the 10th. BABA was a loser on the 11th, Apple was a huge winner, that actually was a long. No trades on the 12th. KR was a winner on the 13th. SPY was a loser. No trades on the 17th. FDX was a nice winner. That really fell. No trades on the 19th. Again, September was slower. If nothing meets my criteria. There's nothing, nothing to do then. And we just walk away from the day. That's how you keep your profits too as well. RHT was a loser. Q's was a winner. UNFI, first trade was a loser. Second trade was a winner. 9.24, no trades. Facebook was a loser here. CTL was a winner. Nike was a loser. IBM was a winner. Nice winner, BBBY, and a huge winner to close out the month. And Facebook, Tesla was a loser. So going back here, I just want to point out, in two months worth of trading, not only was the room profitable, okay, and again, this is with an advanced risk, which I'll go over more in a minute, but you can see here that you would have had one, two, three losing days, three losing days in two months of trading. So normally when you, uh, I, I say to people, you know, you have to look at about 70, 75% win ratio, but there are times when I'm really on point or I'm the extra, extra careful, and then we don't trade those days. So I would figure two to three losses a month on average, but in the last two months, I was so focused. It was 
less than that, okay? Most of the trades were winners and the most of the days that we won in August and September, and I said this to someone in a webinar recently, my trading has improved. I've been doing this now for 10 years, so I am extra careful the days I don't see anything. And if we go after something a second time, I feel pretty certain that it's going to work. And you can see here some of the biggest days were that, were that case. Apple was a good example of that in Facebook. So averaging 30 grand a month in here during a slow period. So I expect earning season to be very profitable in October, November, and December. So a lot of people could live on 30 grand a month. Some people can, some people need to make more. Some people need to make way less. Some people could live on five grand a month. Some people could live on 10. Whatever your expenses are, wherever you live in the world, you have to consider that when you consider your risk. However, you also have to consider that you are sticking to the system and following me if you're in the live trading room. So if you want to work for yourself, you can become a professional day trader. The class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a two-day course. The October class is October 6th and 7th from 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $54.99. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. If you're interested and want to sign up, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. The trends class is October 22nd. Tuition for this class is $59.99. You would save $500 by paying for them both together. And again, you do both this month in October. This is the last class special I'm going to ever do. The new website is launching finally the end of 2018. And so you will go to the site and pay for the separate services, subscriptions, classes, and letters. So I'm offering the trading room free and the options letter free for one year. You got to sign up by Friday. Whether you do the class in October or you do the class in November, there is a deadline for this and I will not be making any exceptions. So please don't ask me. The new website's gonna be out. You can just go there and you sign up. So this is your last chance to get this offer. You would get all my trade calls for an entire year. It's definitely good support. You don't need it. You learn everything in the class to trade on your own, but having the support of the room really definitely does help people. If you're interested and wanna sign up, you only have four days left. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.